Okay, some people are wondering why I taped it like this and just paint. I'm gonna be putting a weather strip around the edges and that doesn't sit very good to paint. So I wanna rough that up so that it has some good adhesion in the end. Okay, I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel, nice thick enamel, flat white. And then, the Crystal Clear Enamel Protective, just coat, coat, coat. Do a good brush strokes and we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's the cooler top. Five coats of paint later without the gloss. You see that big hole I plugged anywhere? Nope, you don't. Ah, uh, the magic of sanding and refurbishing. All right, five coats of enamel and five separate springs of polyurethane clear and glossy. That's looking good now. Now to the bottom. Which is not quite so pretty. But hey, not a bad bit of work. And now to part two. Okay, part, <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be 52 or something, of the cooler lid. Now we laugh in sailboat restoration because one little project can spot off 15 others. So there was, as you've seen in the previous part, the sanding, the fiberglassing of that hole, the painting, the, uh, the, the spray of polyester urethane on top to make it glossy, and then I flip the bottom, and then paint again and gloss again. So that's seven steps so far. All right, if we go look at the actual Bible, as you'll see my great drawings, notice the architectural detail of my cooler. So this was a project I've been putting off for a long time, but it's time. It's a square box, 15 by 7 eighths. Now, what's interesting is here, there is, if you look at the inside of the actual cooler, there were boards that were here to support the lids. These guys right here, okay? So as you set the lid down, they set in there. Now that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I've chosen oak. Now I got this at Home Depot. Uh, it was a nice find because usually I go to the lumber yard, which is about an hour away and you know, or whatever and get, you know, have to cut it, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Nice exact depth replication of what was in there before. This is going to be a simple process. Cut to 15 and 7 eighths. Then I'm just going to epoxy just to give it some rough protection. This is oak. And guess what? If it rots, there's just two screws. I can take it out, cut another piece, put it back in. So this will be a relatively simple part of that. But again, cut probably two or three coats of epoxy. Now what I hate is this edge. Now obviously, it might rot a little bit along that at some point or whatever, but I can also do this with chopped strand mat, make it this thick and, you know, but really seriously, easily replaceable. Oak withstands water pretty good. And most of the time, there's not gonna be much water and humidity in there anyway. Later, when I put the, the cooling unit to actually make it a refrigerator, I'll revisit this and I still think not a big deal because what do those things do? They remove the moisture out and it's just cold, not cold and wet. So let's go with this. I'm gonna get cutting, a little bit of fiberglassing, we'll get back to you. Okay, always keep dull edges, nothing sharp. You wanna reach in there and go, ah! You know, and blood and guts and you're out of the ocean, no paramedics, so. Sand down those rough edges. That's never really happened. I did, however, cut my finger big time and all I had was fiberglass cloth at the time. There was no napkins or no first aid kit on the boat. There is now, but I'm bleeding like a stuck pig and I'm, I'm wrapping fiberglass, you know, this crap across it, you know. Anyway, but yeah, I was like, yeah, be careful out there, people. And I hate these, they'll never come off. <laughs>
So that's the quick demonstration. I will not make you watch the other three, but see, I'm not bleeding. I'm oh, screaming. It's smooth like a kitty. Okay, what I've got now is both top and bottom of this cooler top are now three coats, let's see, five coats on the bottom and three coats, three, wait, wait, five coats on the top and three coats on the bottom and five coats each of the polyurethane spray to get that, you know, nice and waterproofed. So, these are the two knobs I'm going to use. Now, oddly, I found it's a weird thing. Notice how one screw is longer than the other. It is by about an eighth of an inch or so. So that's weird. Um, so I drilled too deep in there. This is a trick you use so that you see, you know, get that how deep so you don't go any too deep. Okay. Thank you for Exciting, I know, a hole in the board. Okay, the theory here is, I might have to route this out a little bit. Tight. Yeah, I gotta route it out a little bit, just too tight. But it's being covered by the device. I don't like drilling a hole in something you spent so much time painting and spraying and sanding and fiberglassing. Okay. Better. Yeah. How much do I have left in here? Any? That's the old one. How much do I have left in here? Any? Maybe. I kind of made a light. Oh, it's going to be hard for you to see this, I know. Okay, plan B here. I'm going to kind of just fill this in the hole, poke it in there, pre-wet it, and just poke it in the hole, and then that'll give it something to grab onto. That's the theory anyway. Got these little screwdrivers, that'll be good for that. put the rest of my fiberglass in there that's a good inch deep by 16 square inches so that's a lot of fiberglass epoxy I use these so I didn't have to touch the possum all right Okay, threads. This is going to be a mess either way. See, it's poking this right down to that hole. There's another piece. You do other pieces. Uh, I'm going to do this 
this with kind of clean hands. Don't mess up my knob. Sorry, it's dirty. Okay. Sweating on top of this thing to do that. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do a little cleanup. But thoughts, how it's gonna look. Oh, hi there. Yeah, what do you think? Redid the shop a little bit, cleaned everything up, got it better. Halloween's about to come, so I'm going to, you know, I'm a big guy on that. It's a lot of fun. And plus, I wanted to start this last segment on my cooler because everything is nice and clean. Look at this. It worked. Ooh, 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 ooh. See? Clean, clean, good. So with that... You can actually see the unveiling. Of Her Majesty. Now don't worry about the edges. I'm going to put my weather trim on that. I'll show you that when I do the installation. So overall, I'm very happy. The trick I used last night worked. These things are solid. And what's kind of cool, if I don't like these down the road, just unscrew them and put something else on. The, the bolts are still in there. Alright, with that, cooler lid complete, nice and clean ready for use. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe. Let me know what ideas you got. I'll be glad to present anything. I got a hundred projects, small little ones, a couple of big ones ahead. But as we know, sailboats always got something, something to do. And with that, higher booty, out. Well, that's all folks. Hey,